and welcome to For Your Pleasure. I'm your host, Mercy West. I am an adult performer and companion out in the Pacific Northwest. I hope you're having a lovely day and thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> mm, today I'm going to talk a little bit about pansexuality and what it means to me. I recently did a really cute video for YouTube uh, where I sort of talk a little bit about my pansexuality and play with some metallic slime and that's very fun, but I didn't really go into depth there, so I would like to do that today. First, I want to start off by explaining why I identify as pansexual. And there are some things that I just want to get out of the way before we start talking about stuff. <laughs> okay, so pansexuality is not a more uh, righteous version of bisexuality. It's not better than bisexuality. It's not a special name that people give themselves when they are also attracted to non-binary and trans people. It is not biphobic. It is not transphobic. <laughs> I'm just going to lay all those things out. I have nothing against bisexual people. I identified as bisexual for a long time until that label no longer fit me. And yes, that is what I'd like to get out of the way before I start my little story here. <laughs> So to me, what pansexuality means to me is that I have little to no interest in gender. I, it's not that I like all genders or that I like some genders. It's that gender isn't, It's not something that really comes into play when I find someone attractive or when I'm weighing whether or not I would like to be in a relationship or like to be romantic or like to be sexual with a person. And I know that's true for a lot of bisexual people as well. But I will lay out that I have met bisexual people who are very open about not dating trans people who are very open about not identifying as queer, who are very open about the fact that they are normal and they date other normal bisexuals or they date other, you know, non-stereotypical gay people. And, you know, there's this whole, there's a, there's a whole side of bisexuality and some of the people who identify as bisexual do have preferences. They have preferences in, you know, well, I mostly like men, but sometimes I date women, or I date men and women, but non-binary people, uh, or andro anyone, or people who are androgynous aren't really my type. You know, things like that. Um, I personally met a non-binary androgynous person who identified as bisexual and said that they had no interest in androgynous or non-binary people, and that's why they didn't identify as pansexual because gender did come into play for them and they really only liked hyper masculine men and hyper feminine women and they had no desire to be with or have no physical attraction to people who do not identify as men or as women and that's fine but that made me start to think that maybe bisexual wasn't the right label for me because it's not that I am, oh yes, all, uh, all genders doesn't matter. It's, you know, I, I love all genders. It's, it's not necessarily that. It's that I, it's just not something that I think about. It's not something that comes up. It's not something that ever is like, well, I really like this person or this person is cool, but they're this, this, and this, or like they're this gender, but you know, I don't normally date this gender. I don't normally sleep with this type of person. So I don't know. It's, uh, 